Sustainable architecture is the design of sustainable buildings. It attempts to reduce the collective environmental impacts during the production of building components, construction process, as well as during the life cycle of the building. This design practice emphasizes efficiency of heating and cooling systems, alternative energy sources, reuse or recycle building materials, on-site power generation, solar technology or wind power, rainwater harvesting for gardening and washing, and on-site waste management. For this project, I have chosen Shiger Wan, who is an accomplished Japanese architect most famous for his innovative work with paper, particularly recycled cardboard paper tubes, developing a method to help disaster victims quickly and efficiently. Shigeru Ban was born in Tokyo in 1957. He graduated in 1984 from the Southern California Institute of Architecture and got a Master in Architecture in the Cooper Union of School of Architecture. His investigation on the employment of cheap materials, specifically cardboard and bamboo, started in the 80s, but he got to master his skills in the Kobe earthquake of 1995, where he designed and constructed the paper church and the paper house. These projects have even gone to Rwanda and Turkey, giving aid in missions of the United Nations High Commissioner of Refugees. The paper church was constructed shortly after the devastating earthquake that shook the Kobe region in 1995 and had burned down the existing Takatoi church. The primary objective of the design of the church was a low-cost, easy-to-assemble structure that could be quickly and simply erected by volunteers to provide a place of worship for the victims of the earthquake. Intended to be a, only a temporary structure, the church made of paper tubes is still standing to this day. The beauty of the church is its modesty of materials. A rectangular volume made of clear plastic lovers encloses an oval of 58 paper tubes, 5 meters high, 330 millimeters in diameter, which support a tent-like roof of white Teflon-coated fabric. On the entry side, the paper tube columns are spaced at a greater distance to allow entry and continuity between interior and exterior, so that when the doors are opened, the space of the church is extended to the exterior, which is also demarcated by the expansive overhanging roof that was a part of the later addition. The church has now been relocated to a site in Taiwan, and reportedly nothing visible remains at the original site in Japan. Shigeru Wan has built homes, bridges, churches, theaters and schools, all constructed giving paper products new life. This process of construction is very simple. He begins by wrapping recycled paper and cardboard around aluminum tubes using natural adhesives. Once the paper dries, the aluminum tubes are removed, and to make everything waterproof, he treats the paper columns with a special wax. Master of likeness and sustainability, Shigeru Ban has not only direct contrast with modern high-tech architecture, he has also managed to assert himself with large-scale projects. The Centre Pompidou Metz is his newest project. He earned the design by winning a competition in 2003. The project consists of a large pavilion set within a new park. The museum consists of both permanent and temporary exhibition space.
The center's most interesting feature will be the roof, inspired by a woven bamboo Chinese hat, a giant hexagonal umbrella made of woven steel and plywood protected by a translucent lattice membrane on top will cover the entire complex. It protects the facades from the weather in winter and provides shade in summer. The whole forum will be encased with movable glass shutters that can close off the forum from or open it up to the surrounded gardens. The floor of the public forum is cooled and warm using recirculated groundwater, while the large forum space is cooled and warm by recirculating the tempered air of the gallery spaces. The scheme offers the curators a broad range of flexible spaces and lightning opportunities. The only windows will, will be each end of the, of the galleries, thus emphasizing the importance of the internal lighting. Enormous curtains will reduce the natural lighting as required. In showcasing the designs of one of the most innovative architects at work today, Shigeru Ban reveals that an emphasis on issues of conservation, economy and accessibility does not only necessarily involve a sacrifice in architectural beauty.